Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So this is going to come as no surprise, but you still need to know about it anyway. California has found yet another way to spy on gun owners. So we're going to talk about what law this is, when it's going to take effect, and what the hell is going on here. So let's get to it. Now, real quick, before we get started, I, I just want to apologize for my voice. I have three little kids in elementary school, and I swear every time they bring something home, I get it. It's just got to be bad genetics, or I need more vitamin C in my diet. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to try and hold it together here. Also, real quick, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this video, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It only takes a second, but it really does help us spread our message. And that little alarm bell will let you know when new videos come out. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. Now, in a previous video, we talked about one way that California is trying to spy on people, and that is by forcing FFLs to have not only just video recordings of every area of the store, but also audio recordings, and that includes where the transaction happens. They want video and audio recording of, of every single transaction, and the store owner is responsible for hanging on to that for I believe it was like a year, something excessive like that. So that if law enforcement wanted to go in, they could simply check all of the video and audio recordings of that time and go back to any period within the last year or so. So we know that they're trying to get eyes in the shop itself. This is something different. Now they are taking a kind of a, a play from the federal playbook and they're applying it in the state of California by now forcing credit card companies and, and banks to change their merchant codes in the state so that they know when you're getting something from an FFL. So instead of it just coming up as sporting goods, now they'll know exactly what you're getting. Retailers are a assigned a four digit code based on what they sell. There's different categories for different goods. And right now, gun shops are categorized under sporting goods stores. But now gun shops will have their own code. Now, while those who support this might try and make it seem like it's not a very big deal, it's benign, it's not even really worth paying attention to, this is a very big deal because what they're doing is they're singling out these transactions and making it easier to search those transactions by separating it from standard sporting goods. So your standard sporting goods, there's not really a way to go in there and kind of siphon out the stuff that they might want to know about. This way they can go in, they can find your name, your address, all of your personal identifying information, and essentially it becomes a de facto registry. Merchant codes are often used for fraud detection. And merchant category codes can be used to create what are called detection scenarios. Uh, the detection scenarios say, hey, something's not right here. Take a deeper look see if there's a problem, and if so, report it out to the law enforcement. Now, another very troubling thing about this law is that it's going to allow financial institutions to flag your purchases and possibly send those flagged purchases to the California Department of Justice if it fits this specific criteria. So for instance, let's say that you get paid, right? And it's a uh, $1,000 and you happen to spend 600 of that $1,000 at one of these new coded locations. Well, that could set off a flag because now you've spent more than 50% of your income uh, at that specific coded location. That could throw up a red flag. That red flag gets sent up to the DOJ and that could warrant further investigation by the state because again, they think that you're up to something that's no good. You're up to something nefarious, right? And that's just all due to that specific new code for that transaction. Again, you know, for your credit cards, your debit cards, whatever, you know, banking or financial institution that you use, they're going to be forced to do this. It's not going to be a matter of whether or not they sign on to it. If they want to do business in the state of California, this is what these financial institutions are going to have to do. So again, this is going to lead to people getting flagged for doing nothing but practicing their right. Now, this particular law is set to take effect in May of 2025, which is great because it gives us time to fire up the printers, fire up the lawsuits, and try and get this thing stopped or overturned prior to it taking effect. But I'm telling you, a little bit over a year, that creeps up really fast. I remember the bans in California before they started. We had three years, but it seemed like those three years were almost in an instant. And once it started, people were like, holy crap, this is really happening. So it's best to stop this stuff now. 
Now, like a lot of you, I'm a constitutional purist. So for me, I don't believe that your rights should be taxed. I don't believe that your rights should be delayed. I don't think that they should be able to monitor your rights. I don't think that there should be a registry or a way to look up somebody who is just practicing their rights. I think that all of this stuff should be completely off the table. So again, for those people who might not think that this is a very big deal, it's a very big deal, especially in a state like California, where they have been pretty hostile to people in that particular segment. Uh, we have seen that nothing good has come from the state government when you're dealing with that specific right. It is treated like a second class right. Uh, forget it, it's treated like a fifth class right. It is not even considered a right to the people who are passing laws there, constantly infringing and constantly violating that particular right. So again, in the state of California, this is even more urgent. Now, in order to preserve whatever little voice I have left, I'm gonna cut this short, but I wanted to let you guys know about that because it's gonna cause a lot of problems and a lot of headaches for people who are just trying to do something that is perfectly legal. So anyway, again, I wanted to let you know about that. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Again, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification to let you know when new videos come out. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. You guys have a good one.